Systema Naturae, originally in Latin written Systema Naturae with the ligature air, is one of the major works of the Swedish botanist, zoologist and physician Carl Linnaeus 1707 to 1778 and introduced the Linnean taxonomy. Although the system, now known as binomial nomenclature, was partially developed by the Bauhin brothers, Gaspard and Johann, 200 years earlier, Linnaeus was first to use it consistently throughout his book. The first edition was published in 1735. The full title of the tenth edition 1758, which was the most important one, was Systema Naturae per Regna Tria Naturae, Secundum Classes, Ordines, Genera, Species, Cum Characteribus, Differentes, Synonymous, Locis or Translated, "...system of nature through the three kingdoms of nature, according to classes, orders, genera and species, with characters, differences, synonyms, places." The tenth edition of this book 1758 is considered the starting point of zoological nomenclature. In 1766–1768 Linnaeus published the much-enhanced twelfth edition, the last under his authorship. Another again-enhanced work in the same style and titled, Systema Naturae, was published by Johann Friedrich Mellon between 1788 and 1793. Since at least the early 1900s zoologists commonly recognized this as the last edition belonging to this series. It was also officially regarded by the ICZN in Opinion 296 the 26th of October 1954 as the 13th edition of Systema Naturae. Topic <inaudible> Overview Linnaeus, later known as Carl von Linn, after his ennoblement in 1761, published the first edition of Systema Naturae in the year 1735 during his stay in the Netherlands. As was customary for the scientific literature of its day, the book was published in Latin. In it, he outlined his ideas for the hierarchical classification of the natural world, dividing it into the animal kingdom, Regnum animale, the plant kingdom, Regnum vegetabile, and the Mineral Kingdom, Regnum Lapidium. Linnaeus's Systema Naturae lists only about 10,000 species of organisms, of which about 6,000 are plants and 4,236 are animals. According to the historian of botany William T. Stern, even in 1753 he believed that the number of species of plants in the whole world would hardly reach 10,000. In his whole career, he named about 7,700 species of flowering plants. Linnaeus developed his classification of the plant kingdom in an attempt to describe and understand the natural world as a reflection of the logic of God's creation. His sexual system, where species with the same number of stamens were treated in the same group, was convenient but in his view artificial. Linnaeus believed in God's creation, and that there were no deeper relationships to be expressed. He is frequently quoted to have said, God created, Linnaeus organized. Latin, Deus crevit, Linnaeus disposud. The classification of animals was more natural. For instance, humans were for the first time placed together with other primates, as anthropomorpha. As a result of the popularity of the work, and the number of new specimens sent to him from around the world, Linnaeus kept publishing new and ever-expanding editions of his work. It grew from 11 very large pages in the first edition 1735 to 2,400 pages in the twelfth edition 1766 to 1768. Also, as the work progressed, he made changes. In the first edition, whales were classified as fishes, following the work of Linnaeus Frendon, father of ichthyology, Peter Arteti. In the tenth edition, published in 1758, whales were moved into the mammal class. In this same edition, he introduced two part names see binomen for animal species, something that he had done for plant species see binary name in the 1753 publication of Species Plantarum. The system eventually developed into modern Linnean taxonomy, a hierarchically organized biological classification. After Linnaeus' health declined in the early 1770s, publication of editions of Systema Naturae went in two directions. Another Swedish scientist, Johann Andreas Murray issued the Regnum Vegetabile section separately in 1774 as the Systema Vegetabilium, rather confusingly labeled the 13th edition. 
Meanwhile, a 13th edition of the entire Systema appeared in parts between 1788 and 1793. It was as the Systema Vegetabilium that Linnaeus' work became widely known in England following translation from the Latin by the Lichfield Botanical Society, as a system of vegetables 1783 <laughs> <laughs> Taxonomy In his Imperium Naturae, Linnaeus established three kingdoms, namely Regnum Animale, Regnum Vegetabile and Regnum Lapidium. This approach, the animal, vegetable and mineral kingdoms, survives until today in the popular mind, notably in the form of parlor games. Is it animal, vegetable or mineral? The classification was based on five levels, kingdom, class, order, genus, and species. While species and genus was seen as God-given or natural. The three higher levels were seen by Linnaeus as constructs. The concept behind the set ranks being applied to all groups was to make a system that was easy to remember and navigate, a task which most say he succeeded in. Linnaeus's work had a huge impact on science, it was indispensable as a foundation for biological nomenclature, now regulated by the nomenclature codes. Two of his works, the first edition of the Species Plantarum for plants and the tenth edition of the Systema Naturae are accepted among the starting points of nomenclature. Most of his names for species and genera were published at very early dates, thus take priority over those of other, later works. In zoology there is one exception, which is a monograph on Swedish spiders, Svenska Spindler, published by Karl Klerk in 1757, so the names established there take priority over the linear names. However, his impact on science was not because of the value of his taxonomy. His talent for attracting skillful young students and sending them abroad to collect made his work far more influential than that of his contemporaries. At the close of the 18th century, his system had effectively become the standard system for biological classification. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Only in the animal kingdom is the higher taxonomy of Linnaeus still more or less recognizable and some of these names are still in use, but usually not quite for the same groups as used by Linnaeus. He divided the animal kingdom into six classes. In the 10th edition, 1758, these were Mammalia comprised the mammals. In the first edition, whales and the West Indian manatee were classified among the fishes. Aves comprised the birds. Linnaeus was the first to remove bats from the birds and classify them under mammals. Amphibia comprised amphibians, reptiles, and assorted fishes that are not of osteichthyes. Pisces comprised the bony fishes. These included the spiny finned fishes Perciforms as a separate order. Insecta comprised all arthropods. Crustaceans, arachnids and myriapods were included as the order. Aptera. Verms comprised the remaining invertebrates, roughly divided into worms, mollusks, and hard-shelled organisms like echinoderms. Topic. Plant kingdom The orders and classes of plants, according to his Systema Sexual, were never intended to represent natural groups as opposed to his Ordines Naturales in his Philosophia Botanica but only for use in identification. They were used in that sense well into the 19th century. The Linnean classes for plants, in the sexual system, were Topic. Mineral kingdoms Linnaeus's taxonomy of minerals has long since fallen out of use. In the 10th edition, 1758, of the Systema Naturae, the Linnean classes were Classus I. Petrae rocks. Classus II. Minerae minerals and ores. Classus III. Fossilia fossils and aggregates. Topic. Editions 
Melon's 13th Decima Tertia edition of Systema Naturae 1788 to 1793 should be carefully distinguished from the more limited Systema Vegetabilium first prepared and published by Johann Andreas Murray in 1774 but labeled as 13th edition. The dates of publication for Melon's edition were the following Part 1, pp. 1 to 12, 1 to 500, the 25th of July 1788. Part 2, pp. 501, 1032, the 20th of April 1789. Part 3, pp. 1033 to 1516, the 20th of November 1789. Part 4, pp. 1517 to 2224, the 21st of May 1790. Part 5, pp. 2225-3020, the 6th of December 1790. Part 6, pp. 3021-3910, the 14th of May 1791. Part 7, pp. 3911-4120, the 2nd of July 1792. Topic. See also. Supplementum plantarum Animalia paradoxa 10th edition of Systema naturae 12th edition of Systema naturae